Okay, and the recording is started. Um, so, as usual, uh, thank you all for, for taking the time to participate with Sports the Initiative. Um, welcome to our 18th and final session, um, just for this wave of the initiative. Um, we will be back, uh, hopefully stronger and bigger than ever, uh, in, the, in the near future. Um, so, as before, the session will be recorded and will be available from the free resources section of the website. Um, should be up um, within the next couple of days. Um, so don't forget that all the recordings from the other 16 sessions are up, um, so please access them if you're interested or if you missed them. Um, the two sessions that were on this week, so today's session and uh, Tuesday's session, uh, will be up shortly, so if you missed Tuesday's session or if you'd like to take uh, another look at today's, uh, please do so in the free resource section of our website, uh, that's www.forceinitiative.com. Um, I'd also like to mention, as usual, the sponsors of this initiative, who are Nominate Trust and Cambridge University Press, and uh, thank them again for their generosity in making uh, these sessions possible. Um, so you've all been muted on entry, as usual, and uh, will be muted throughout the session. Um, so any questions or general communications will be undertaken through the chat function, which you should see there on the right of your screen. Um, so that's where we'll do questions, and uh, I'll keep an eye on them during, during Henry's presentation. Um, so today we're extremely lucky to have Henry Thiel uh, to speak to us about Google Apps for the, for the classroom. Um, in this session, Henry's going to share some examples of cooperative learning, collaborative authoring, and global exchanges facilitated by Google Education Apps. And you're going to learn how, to create, how creative collaboration is engaging and teaching students while helping prepare them for their future, and learn about all the features of Google Apps um, and how, how this can then impact the role of the teacher. Um, we'll also see some practical examples of how it can be used in the classroom and see some student resp responses as to, as to what they got out of it. And these are from Henry's old, own school, so uh, it's really interesting. Um, and I'd also I'd really like to show my appreciation to Henry and, and now for, for taking the time to be part of the project and for taking the time to prepare the presentation and for taking this hour to deliver the presentation to us all. Um, so Henry has been serving uh, uh, Maine 207, a Google Spotlight School District, uh, as the Director of Technology for the past two years. Uh, before that, he was a technology coordinator at Conant High School in Hoffman Estate, uh, where he had also taught science and music since 1996. Uh, he had focused on providing a simple and effective way to foster learning through the appropriate use of technology, and believes that effective instruction and demonstration of resources allows students, parents, community, and staff to improve their skills and be more efficient in today's world. He earned his doctorate from Roosevelt University, Chicago, in educational leadership and organizational change, with a focus on the impact online communication can have on learning. Uh, Dr. Hill is a Google certified teacher and has led several Google sponsored information and training sessions. And so I'm going to hand you over to Henry now, who's going to take you through around a 40 minute presentation. As I say, there'll then be some time for some questions, so if you can put these into the chat function, it just works like any instant messenger function, um, and we'll get to them uh, as, as time permits. And so I'm just going to make Henry presenter now. Just bear with me two seconds. And then also going to oh, you're unmuted now, Henry, as well, so you can you can bash away. All right, thank you, Neil. I need to uh, share my my screen desktop here with you folks. All right, uh, Neil, can you see that just fine now? Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, you're good to go. All right. Uh, thank you all for joining me. Uh, I'm very excited to, to present to your group here today. Uh, I'm going to move pretty quickly through through a lot of information, though. So uh, please, uh, if you have a question, give it to me here at the end, and we'll make sure that we get to it. Uh, my email address there is at the bottom of the screen. If you'd like to contact me directly after this, feel free. Uh, and we're going to go through the Google Apps Education Suite and how our school district is using it. Uh, this is our school district. We've been uh, in existence for quite a while. We'll go into that. And I'm somewhere behind the glass in that picture. So our school district, Maine 207, uh, has been in this community since 1902. Our oldest building at Maine East High School up here on the map. Uh, was built in 1929. Our newest school was built in 1964. Um, we have a, a very old and established community uh, in some parts of our area, and we have some very new, um, more modern communities that we serve as well. Uh, we're right next to O'Hare Airport. You can see us here and see that here 
in the bottom corner, uh, which is you know a central communication hub for the United States. Uh, we're very near uh, Chicago. We're about 16 miles out of it. Um, we have about 7,000 students. We're all high school, grades 9 through 12, about 1,500 staff members. Mostly all of them are in the three high schools that you see pictured below. Uh, and we also have two smaller learning academies. So uh, a couple of years ago, we, we came across uh, Google Apps. Um, we were looking for a solution for student email. We had been using a, an old text-based uh, email system. Our teachers hated it. Our students hated it. There was no way to work with HTML in it. Everything looked terrible. So nobody actually wanted to use that system. So when I showed up here, one of the first challenges I was given was to fix the email system. We went out and looked at stuff and priced everything and, and looked at what was out there available to us. It was going to cost us about $35,000 a year for a student email package for all of our, our students at that time. And that paired up against Gmail, which offered the same thing and more, because it also had other apps that came with it, uh, at a cost of nothing. Um, so we, we decided to go with the free product uh, that worked just as well, and we rolled that out. And um, along with uh, Calendar and uh, uh, docs are the other apps. Uh, this g immediately gave our students a much better email platform. It also made a mobile. Not even our teachers at that time were mobile, so our, our students could get uh, email on their iPhone or their mobile phones or those kinds of things. So what came with Google Apps EDU when we signed up for it for our students uh, was Gmail, Calendar, and we turned on, do on Docs. We, uh, we have talk off, uh, sites off, um, and we control the, the video. So we're, we're still discussing whether or not to turn on talk or sites. But the nice thing about Google Apps is that it allows you uh, granular control of all of these applications. And you can decide uh, what you want on and what you want off. So let me explain to you a little more in detail why we de decided to go with Google Apps. So we went through this whole timeline that I explained to you, the research uh, for about a year. And then once we decided to go with, um, with Google, uh, we prepared for a few months. And then it took only about a week or so to cut over our students from one platform to the other. Um, we didn't migrate any of the old student email. Our policy before was every year we deleted everything and restarted the account. So that was that was just common practice. We just started up with a new system. Um, and then we did a student rollout at the beginning of the school year, which involved instructions on our website. Our English teachers were essential in training our students on how to use it and getting them up and going on it. And then a, a couple of years later here, just over actually the last, well, at the beginning of this year, we rolled out apps for all of our teachers, um, not including email. We were on GroupWise at the time. And then just over the last couple of months here, we've migrated from GroupWise to Gmail. And now we're entirely Google for all of these applications. Um, so reasons we want with them, obviously price is huge. We're saving, like I said, $35,000 a year for student email. We estimate we're saving about $55,000 a year for staff email, and um, because we've been able to integrate some of these, uh, some of our products with Google, uh, we've been able to absorb the loss of a staff member. Not what we wanted to do, but with the way that the economy is, we had to. So we figure between staff and uh, staff time and technology resources, we're saving about $160,000 a year with Google solutions. Um, our staff have taken right to it. Our students have. Uh, there's been very uh, little training, that formal training that's had to take place, although now as we're getting into more of the advanced, advanced uses, there is more demand for some of the tips and tricks and those kinds of things. But basic use required very little training. Um, if you're looking at going this way, I want to talk a little bit. Uh, some of you may not ha have investigated this uh, yet or just thinking about going in this way, so I'm going to flip through a 